Hey all, Church of SDFU. Um, gonna go off to have some fun on the weekend shortly, and I just thought I'd make a little short video um, about an idea that was running around my head a little bit. And um, so, what I want to talk about is this concept of the double bind. So, the double bind in psychology is, and I'm gonna have to read from the screen here, an emotionally distressing dilemma in which communication. Uh, in which an individual or group receives two or more conflicting messages um, in which they can't actually uh, react to all of them because they are contradictory so for example if you tell a child uh, to only spoke when spoken to and you tell them to not talk back then that child will be in a double bind because if you speak to them they sh are supposed to talk back but they're not allowed to talk back so they're going to lose either way and it's going to actually cause them emotional distress and there are uh, kind of theories in psychology around what kind of effects this could have and I don't really want to go in any depth into the psychological dimension um, at least in the scientific sense but just to talk about it in everyday life and I think it does play a big role in one reason why people aren't happy and that's because we have so many very conflicting goals society uh, has amalgamated and kind of combined so many different systems of virtue or ethics or or standards that are incompatible that people are being basically torn into different directions it's kind of like that old medieval execution thing where you have a horse at each limb and it just pulls you apart so we're supposed to have a great career we're supposed to make lots of money we're supposed to drive the big car uh, if we don't then clearly society will see us as a loser um, and this is always reflected in popular culture and in everyday really um, in everyday interaction if someone comes along and has a terrible job at least what you think of as kind of a low level job then they're not accorded the same respect and that's really socially reinforced on the other hand people are supposed to raise uh, families they're supposed to have excellent kind of uh, f nuclear family relations they're supposed to have lots of time for their kids and supposed to make sure that their kids get raised well and get raised to be good people at the same time they're also supposed to be obviously growing as a person they're supposed to be um, having hobbies they're supposed to be exploring their own um, their own kind of mind and so on and so forth and kind of be becoming an interesting person um, and on top of that they're also obviously supposed to be beautiful supposed to always maintain themselves um, in that way and always supposed to be um, yeah supposed to be working hard on that as well and these things together are in conflict clearly you cannot um, be really career driven and really have that desire to get ahead at the same time invest as much time as is needed in your family and your children and uh, these two already are in incompatible um, the career is also incompatible with a person growing as a person to a large extent um, in terms of finding out what they're good at finding out different things they enjoy because they simply won't have time to do those things um, and so then we always have these horror kind of stories I think a lot of people myself included are afraid of this of the kind of deathbed what have I done with my life it's all worthless I you know and people people are completely unsure of of well they try to achieve all of these things they often end up achieving none they try to have a family um, and a career but then the family ends up breaking apart because of the lack of time that they can spend on their family or at least it might not break apart but it becomes to some extent dysfunctional their career ends up not satisfying them not fulfilling them and they end up not being able to uh, put in the time to develop their personality to the extent where other people think that they're interesting and worthwhile and where they actually know what to do at the end of the day after they retire um, and I think this kind of situation 
where people are expected to be all things all the time is putting an enormous amount of pressure um, and especially when it comes to career and families I think that pressure is very negative for society at large because it is very important that people spend if people choose to have a family and children uh, I think one of their primary responsibilities after that point is to raise their children to be good people and productive members of society um, and that task is often woefully neglected and often not through the fault of the parents but in order to live a middle-class life it often requires both parents to take full-time jobs from uh, when the child is very young and to not be able to provide the type of um, guardianship and education at home that a child needs and since society does not accept any of that coming from the school system or the state and I think there are some good reasons for why that would be a risky proposition although I would argue that certainly we could do more in terms of um, studying ethics and things at school but there's that total gap there and so it's not just the person that's at that point in time being torn apart by this internal conflict um, the person that ends up uh, almost inevitably kind of uh, longing after all of the opportunities they missed because they were confused during most of their lives but it's also the children that suffer and the children that get basically get primed to go through that entire experience again um, and it's very easy to say well you know people should people should just figure out what they want if you're a family guy then just go do the family thing and if people look down on you for being family oriented and driving that old broken down car then just ignore them but it's not that easy um, it's not that easy at all humans are human and these things affect us and we're terrified of uh, being feeling disrespected or feeling uh, kind of unworthy uh, and it's what causes a lot of people to kind of quit the system or it causes a lot of people to give up and I think it's really a lot about it there's no simple solution there's no simple solution because it's also interwoven into popular culture into all of the myths of the city on the hill and the manifest destiny and all of that all of that has the underlying idea that we're these these beings with absolute power that can achieve everything if we just work hard enough and that's not true um, but I think realizing that that's not true realizing that that's a lie and that's basically propaganda designed to get us into a system where we expend our lives in the service of um, an economy in the service of profit is the first step to thinking about what we can do differently to take control back of our lives and to go with our lives where we want to go because in fact for a lot of people I mean it's getting increasingly hard because um, people are increasingly struggling just to find work but in fact I know several people who having found jobs decided to take things a different way and whereas most people are deathly afraid of that they were brave enough to start working only three days a week with families and they may do and they spend all of their time with their families doing uh, spending quality time or f following their their hobbies and their interests and it's a harder life materially but I th I personally think looking at them it's more rewarding um, but society doesn't make it easy and society I think doesn't generally respect that choice and I think that's something where we need to really do a lot more reflecting to think about whether how we're doing it now is really the best for us personally and for our children it's my it may be the best for someone's bottom line I think in the long term it's not even that because as we get less happy we'll get less productive and society will get more and more kind of creaky under the under the strain um, but in in either case I think it's not good for us
Have a good weekend, everyone. I'll see you guys all later. Cheerio.